What's going on YouTube? It is Mr. Ferguson here once again. Thank you guys for coming back for another video here in Central North Carolina. We made it back from Virginia and we're back in our lawn. So today guys, real quick for this Wednesday video, before we get into uh, showing you around the lawn, I just wanted to give you kind of an update of what my lawn's looking like right now. We just did a mow yesterday, so it's in pretty good condition. As you can see, man, it's looking pretty good. So we'll kind of review as we walk around the lawn. I want to show you an update on the green shoots on the glyphosate, give you an update there. We're entering around week, or excuse me, day 11, 12, 13, somewhere around there when we applied um, the glyphosate to some poa triv. So let's check that out and show you the lawn. But before that, tomorrow we're going to be, uh, I'm going to be going uh, to uh, a funeral up in Virginia. So um, we're going to be doing that and um, uh, going, my uh, uncle passed away. So just remember them and keep them in prayer. He had uh, cirrhosis of the liver and ended up passing away. He wasn't a drinker, wasn't a smoker, just something that uh, his body got and uh, he passed away. So just remember the Ferguson family and that. So uh, we're going to do a quick short video. Video, and I just want to bring you uh, the update on the lawn as you can see behind me man look at that this angle looks pretty awesome I have to admit so let's turn the camera around look at that give you a few updates let you know uh, of all the apps maybe you're new and you're just now tuning in to mr. Ferguson I'm here in central North Carolina we're uh, just north of Raleigh so let me show you what we're looking like here in the end of March so as I mentioned I did my sideways cut yesterday and that is beauty that is just awesome i love that look the up and down the side to side you get the checker pattern it just looks phenomenal i love that view uh so the grass is looking pretty good i did want to mention um you can see these spots we're going to check out here in a second that the last uh the, the screw up i did of putting the ammonium sulfate down with the 0026 phosphite that we talked about last video it really didn't do anything because i didn't get a chance to get out here and water that in properly um, it did rain a little bit but there wasn't a big change in color i was hoping it would change the color a little bit uh the main thing is that obviously that it will help adjust our ph but uh it really didn't change that so i may add slight slight very very little bit amount of 505 it's urea it's got a little bit of urea in there and so that may help color change a little bit because this time of year when we're in the 50s and 60s this is the time to really get that nitrogen going and uh, i'm not trying to push a lot of top growth obviously i don't need it to grow 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 but i love that dark green color and we can't really you know north carolina's you unique place because we can't really push a whole lot of nitrogen come May or come June and then we can't really push any more nitrogen until really September October when it gets back into cooler temperatures like we're dealing with now so I like to really green it up now but the update on the glyphosate that's what these spots are guys it's taken two weeks but we do have a difference now and you can see this poa triv um, it is noticeably it's got the brown going on it's got the yellow going on it clearly absorbed it and it is dying off and that is the case with most areas these are some areas i forgot like obviously i forgot everywhere i put it and uh, you can see where it's dying off now will it make a hole in my lawn i don't know we're gonna see and if so we'll plant a little bit we'll put a little triple threat down but clearly these brown spots now is you know the temperature is also warming up as well uh, we're supposed to get up in the mid 80s this week so that will also help to kill it off in our little area over here we've been looking at um, i'll just show you that this guy over here he is also finally showing a little death so remember we put plenty on this guy you guys told me i got impatient um i think one of the factors is when we spray some of this stuff with like 2,4 d and stuff and we see it affected in three four five days you're like okay this this crap ain't uh ain't, ain't working like that it's two different products you have to keep that in mind i have to keep that in mind but he is suffering he is dying so it does work and it did not target a lot of the good grass in the area that's the that's the point of it. The Poa annua that we showed you guys, it is also not happy and not liking it. It is clearly weak and dying as well. But again, the temperature is also warming up as well. So if you do have those pockets of little itty bitty weeds in your lawn and you want a precision kill like this guy right here, that green shoots, go back in that video, click the link, check it out at GCI Turf. 
as far as the side it's looking good again the grass that we put down where we pulled up poa triv is starting to grow in which is also a, a awesome looking thing so the grass color i just feel like it could be a little bit darker like i was saying i can push a little more nitrogen don't want to get crazy as a, a lot of y'all are like mr ferguson cool it now uh don't be going i don't want to go iron crazy because my soil test always show high, iron really high but as far as the front yard same same deal we did it side to side it just looks so good when you mow it i really need to get out here and sharpen my uh um my mower blades i really need to get that done i really need to have somebody professionally do it um because it's been a while since they were brand new but uh the other thing um you can see over here this area we talked about several times in the past this little the right side i was telling you stays the most moist aka the most area that's going to have poetry problems all of this is starting to brown up it's you know you hate to see it brown up when it's supposed to be looking the best but poetry you got to deal with it right so it's like on the tips of some of this now like this guy he doesn't look like he's he's worried at all he may not i may not have put it on there but i did put it on this guy and he is wigging out not liking it same thing over here so everywhere you place it it does take forever and a day to begin to work but it is crisping it up drying it up and so hopefully uh we may have to put some seed in here like we did over here here we just cut it out and i think that's just the easy, easier method we got baby grass down in here so it's just easier i think to just cut it out and put it in but you may have to make sure you get it all so i believe that's the easier way but all in all i just wanted to show um what the lawn is looking like back here and uh showing you um that the color is pretty good but everywhere we put the um the green shoots and things of that nature is browning up but otherwise um it's looking pretty good back here we've only done fertilizer type of the ammonium sulfate from lawn supply company we've done a little bit of humic acid we did rgs and if you recall last year man that was i think the most fun fertilizing because i did a lot of the urea the humic coated urea doesn't have to be humic coated doesn't have to be the andersons but that bag lasted me a very long time um, for the like 75 80 bucks i spent on it i got lots of applications out of that thing and uh, it really just made the lawn look awesome i mean it darkened it up urea is a lot of fun so i just wanted to do a quick walkthrough on this wednesday being we need to go and uh we need to go and uh, handle family matters tomorrow i don't have a lot of time to um to do another video today we got things to pack and get ready for for that so i just wanted to give you a walkthrough let me know if your lawn is looking as awesome are you guys still under snow up there in uh, the northern parts of the nation what's it looking like for you guys let me know in the comments below and uh um we got grub treatment coming up soon. We also have the second application we need to do very soon, possibly uh, this weekend of prodiamine, our second application of pre-emergent. So don't forget about that. If you're doing split apps like me, we're getting closer. We want to get up to that 60, 65. Um, it's almost time to put down that second um, application of pre-emergent that's going to last us all the way into the summer. So God bless you guys. Thank you for tuning in for this quick, very quick update video. What the lawn's looking like. It's looking pretty good. We'll have to handle these, uh, these spots here soon, but God bless you. We'll see you next time.